Welcome to another week of social media marketing. This week, do is a Stukent Chapter 4 quiz, and then additionally, the first two rounds of the Stukent Mimic Simulation, which I'll go through in a minute. But first, Stukent Quiz Chapter 4. <coughs> Stukent uh, Chapter 4 has to deal with the importance of metrics for social media. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. In this chapter, you'll learn about the different metrics to evaluate social media performance and marketing. You'll go through and learn about all the different metrics, aligning social media metrics with your objectives and goals as a brand, and then learn to measure what's relevant and not available. After you're done reading the chapter, make sure to take the chapter four quiz by Tuesday at 11.55. <clears throat> now on to the Stukent Mimic Social Simulation. This is the first week. You'll notice when you log in that you have either the choice of going to the Social Media Marketing Textbook or the Mimic Social Media Simulation. So you click on the button, go to Mimic Social. Here you'll find a helpful guide to tell you exactly and walk you through exactly how to use the Mimic Social. Make sure to watch this video uh, and learn about how to get started. In addition, below you'll find some background information. When you're done watching this video and you're done reading this information, make sure to close out of this and go through each tab of this mimic simulation. The first tab gives you the scenario that you're going to be creating social media posts for a company called Buhi. Buhi is an e-commerce and retail bag supplier. It specializes in backpack, purse, wallet, satchels, and duffel products. This is going to give you a little bit of background about the company. <clears throat> now, you'll learn a little bit about the products in the next tab. The different duffel bags and backpacks that are available. The different types of uh, pouches and purses and totes and travel bags. Next, you'll learn about their market you'll learn about their primaries and secondary targets. Click on the face to understand about each one and make sure you take notes as far as what uh, information you're looking for here as far as interest, income, gender, age, and the percent of their market. Again, the interesting thing about Facebook and Facebook advertising, social media advertising, is that you can target by these things. So make sure to take notes and note which, uh, which segment is their most popular segment or their primary segment and their secondary segments. So after you go through each one of these and make notes, <clears throat> make sure you go on to the next tab. Here you'll learn about the analytics as far as what they've been doing you'll be able to establish some benchmarks as far as what they've been doing and what uh, they've been seeing. You'll learn about what age groups respond well and gender and uh, other important demographics on each one of their social media channels. <clears throat> Finally, you'll learn about your budget. Bui allocates $240,000 a year to social me media marketing efforts. Your weekly budget is $5,000. <clears> Spend as much as your budget as possible. Finally, you'll go over your goals, right? Your goals are listed as follows. Next, you'll hit continue. This will take you into the weekly, into the weekly mem mem memos from other people in your office. Finally, you're going to go into the post section. Here, there's a little bit of an intro and tell you exactly how to use this so Mimic social media tool and how to exactly do it. After you're done with this, close this out, 
and begin to create some social media posts. Now remember about my audience, right? In my age range, my ta target persona was 20 to 24, and they were men, and they had interests in backpacks, hiking, totes, And I'm going to allocate $250 to this of my 5,000 that I have to um, that I have to uh, use. I'm going to save this audience primary target. And I'm going to go ahead and schedule. After I'm done scheduling all my posts for the week and again you want to make sure that you use all 5,000 with promoted posts but you also make posts that are organic as well now as you're learning the organic reach is not that good with Facebook or Instagram you're looking at about a half a percent if you're lucky organic reach so make sure you, you balance organics posts and so and paid posts together <clears throat> And again, you'll want to make sure that you post for each of these social media channels. After you're done making all your posts for the week, go ahead and hit, and hit Run Simulation. Round two is an analysis round. A lot of people think that, okay, I'll have another round of posts. No, round two is an analysis of round one and the posts. So this section helps you understand your results. So when you go in here for round two, you're going to answer all these questions. Where are you going to find the answers? In the analytics. So the first question is, how many new followers did you gain on Facebook? Well, it looks like I didn't gain any new followers on Facebook. Because I didn't make any Facebook posts, but you'll make Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and YouTube posts. It's important to make posts for each social media channel. So as you can see, round two is simply an analysis of your performance. Hopefully that answers your questions. Again, you'll want to make sure that you go through simulation round one making posts on each channel both organic and paid and then round two which is the analysis of round one's performance good luck and have a great week